Tommy Khan here with your Fox 10 News Now updated this Friday morning, and I have a very funny man sitting right next to me. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. I am joined by Bill Bellamy. Bill, I know that you're very impressed with our setup here at this Fox News so Now. This is so cool. I, like, this is the first time, honestly, the first time I've ever did anything like this. I've been in interviews and stuff, but this is dope because it feels like we're in Command Central. Yeah, there's right. like a million. Like, like, like this screens. is about to happen. Like, the, uh, the, the, uh, the convention is about to start, and we're on the floor. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> That's what it feels like. Yeah, we have like five different screens yeah, a million like, buttons Ooh, if, a million you, buttons. if Look, you push something this whole show might shut down we, no i'm not touching anything you're, not allowed you're to touch in control anything. i'm riding with you you're allowed to touch i'm in table. your car you're driving i'm a great driver okay. <laughs> so a lot of the viewers already have been submitting questions for you all morning some of them tuned in to watch you okay. on uh, on fox 10 on the morning show and i know one of the earlier questions from eduardo i believe i wanted to scroll up and incorporate the chat room right away uh he wanted to know what your inspiration was and uh, who your biggest inspiration was. And I told them that you were doing Kindergarten Cop 2. Yeah. So they want to know if the movie will live up to the first and will Arnold Schwarzenegger be making a cameo? Oh, I don't know um, if Arnold will make a cameo, but I think we're going to live up to to the first one. We have a, a perfect blend of action and comedy, right? Because it's dealing with the kids and we're trying to solve a crime and the crime you know, brings us the action to the school, and then there's a little love You can't thing. really tell, you're just okay. like really giving us a vague overview. Like, okay, and then so there's like this cute like little love the affair with the, with the teacher, <laughs> and then I, I play Agent Sanders, I'm an FBI agent, and um, and I'm, I'm, I'm a badass, you know, I, I, I get to talk some trash, I get to be really, really funny. How did and you get to prepare for that role? <laughs> I, I don't know, right? I don't know. How did I learn how to do that? So the uh, the lead is Dolph Glengrom, who played in Rocky. He's like the uh, he plays Agent Reed, and he's like the dude. He's the ladies' man. Is See, he I'm like not the, the ladies' man. Equivalent? Right. Right. He's I'm like not, the big dude. He's the big dude, and I'm sort of the, the fun dude on the side. It's fun being the fun dude, though. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's no fresher on me. I get to I get to ad lib a lot in the movie. I made I, I had so many moments in the movie that's just like people are gonna be like, oh my god, he is so stupid. He's so funny. So it's a good time. You guys are still currently shooting, right? Are you yes, done shooting? Yes, we finish it um, next week. So I go back on Monday to Vancouver. We're shooting up there, and I'll be done, man. It's gonna be a lot cooler in terms of the temperature. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it'll be Phoenix. 82. That's freezing out here, right? <laughs> uh, I guess you could say that. I guess you could say that's freezing. I don't remember what 82 feels like. I anymore. know, cause it's gonna be like 118 today. So like, you know what? Be freezing here, 75. Oh. Well, I, I was in L.A. a few weeks ago, yeah. and it was like 72, and I was freezing, and I was tweeting. I was like, I don't remember, guys, what this feels like. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, this is it's still summer here, man. I want to shout out to all the fans, too. Good morning. Happy Friday, everybody. All right. I'm going to scroll down now, uh, see what questions there are. Yeah, this is kind of fun. I Eduardo, like Eduardo, this. this is his favorite question to ask every single person on the show, whether mm. it's a comedian or a news anchor or a politician. He asks the same question day in, day out. Uh, what's Bellamy's go-to beer and favorite beer? Please, Samia, ask him. Oh, uh, Eduardo, my favorite go-to beer is uh, Blue Moon. I like Blue Moon, put a little orange slice in that thing, and it's real, real cold. Get a big frozen glass and just drink it down. That's it. Blue Moon. And then Leo asking a question. I know Eduardo also touched upon this earlier, but uh, comedy inspirations, Pryor, Bill Hicks, Carlin, who's, who is a lot. Any, uh, none of the above. No, no, no. <laughs> my, my is Robin Williams, mm. um, George Carlin, uh, Bill Cosby before the situation. Right. Uh, post-situation. Post-situation. You know, no, pre, pre-situation, like before anything ever I want your take on that whole thing. Uh, no, I'll tell you something. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Richard Pryor and um, Bernie Mac. Um, you know, there's a lot of guys that I like. Martin Lawrence, um, Jamie Foxx. These guys came up with me. Chris Rock. You know, these are guys that are my peers. But, you know, all, they, we all kind of inspire each other to keep, keep pushing and uh, getting better every time. Which comedy scene, like what city did you come up in? I came up in New York. Okay. In the New York, yeah, in the New York scene. So I was on the stage, you know, with Chappelle. You know what I'm saying? Just, just hanging out. Man, <laughs> Bill, this is good to see you. Man, I saw you last night. It was funny. It was amazing. And I'm just trying to get better. So just trying to get better. <laughs> That's, that was Dave at like 17. He was 17 years wow. old. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, How so old were you when you started stand-up? I started doing stand-up when I was 23. 
Yeah. That's a good so, age. Yeah, that's a good age. Like I was trying to figure it out. I knew I liked it. I didn't know if I, I would be good at it yet. I was just like, man, I want to learn how to tell a joke. I want to be on stage for a while. I used to always. Were be you on... bombing in the beginning? Oh yeah. Why are you gonna tell <laughs> people my business? Why are you gonna tell people my business? Well, I'm just we was saying because everyone we bombs tight. in the beginning, and I'm always curious to know what people's like first jokes were when they were first finding out if they do oh, any of them ever. I can't on stage. remember my first shirt joke, but I know it was bad. Okay. <laughs> and the reason I knew it was bad because I got booed. They booed me all the way to my car. Car. That's like past valet. Uh, uh, oh that's you embarrassing. You had a car in New York? No. Okay, but that's how bad it was. Bad. Okay, oh, that's I how bad I got saying. booed. It's like, wait a minute. That's, you're doing pretty well if no, you have a car no, in New York. I did not. I did at not. At 23. Uh, <laughs> they booed me to the train. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Uh, the six or the four or the A line? I don't know. Uh, Rachel, hi, SK and Bill Bellamy. Hello. Uh, Bina asking a question. B uh, Bill, what was it like working with Tiffany Thiessen? And did you watch Saved by the Bell or 90210 back in the day? Oh, yes. Everybody everybody watched uh, Saved by the Bell. And when we did Fastlane on Fox, by the way, Fox. Right here. Um, she was looking really, really hot in that. She played my boss um, on that show. So I know people know about that. Fastlane, me, uh, Tiffany, and Peter Facinelli. Twilight yeah. of Twilight. Yeah, Day. Mr. F now he's a vampire. He don't know nobody. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now I think, you know what's funny is that you have worked with so many of people's like childhood sort of favorites. Yeah. Like I see Gio Leo's asking about Keenan and Cal now. <laughs> Oh, wow, you remember that. Yeah. I was on Keenan and Kel. Yes, that's true. I was also Cousin Skeeter. I did Cousin Skeeter. If you used to watch Nickelodeon, I did the voice for Cousin Skeeter. Oh. You see, you didn't know that. These are things that I'm just learning. You did not know. My, my first memory of you has to be on MTV. Yes. That's like, I think when I think back at like... That was my my, my, my yeah. like blowing up scene, like where I got big and like people start to know my name because I you know they would say you're Bill Bellamy, are you Bill Bellamy? Oh my God, you're Bill Bellamy, right? That's what people used to say. Or did they ever say you look like that guy Bill Bellamy? Or did some they people, actually were they some people don't believe you? it's me because they like there's no way I could still you know look the same. They're like. You over there trying to be Bill Bellamy. <laughs> and I'm like, no, nah, I am Bill Bellamy. I'm just... So I'm you pull just, out your ID? Like, I'd be what? like, no. this is my license, okay? This is my credit card. And they're like, it's a fake. It's real. You can make those. Um, Tom K., I thought I was watching MTV for a second. Mm -hmm. Renan, is Kindergarten Cop 2 out now or coming out? It's coming out. He's still shooting it. Right yeah, now. we're still shooting. It's 2016. Um, Renan, Bill, what was your first big hit that got your name out there? Uh, well, I want to say that got my name out there really strong was MTV because I was on TV every day. Like, mm -hmm. and I'd be like, hey, this is Bill Bellamy. Welcome to MTV Jams. Hey, this is Bill Bellamy. Welcome to Top 40 Countdown. So that's how I think people started saying my whole name because I used to say it every day. Well, it also flows so well. I will say, oh, you like, think? it's better. Like, I feel like, you know, on a, there's certain people you meet and it's their name almost sounds better when you say it with their first name and last name. Yeah, when I'm it goes about. together, it becomes like Bill one Bellamy. thing. That's Bill Bellamy. I can't just call you Bill. I do, you don't look like a regular Bill. You, I'm sure you've got this. You don't look like a guy. You ain't no, that's good, though. I like that. You're no regular Bill. You're Bill Bellamy. Yeah, right? you're that's either nice. Bill Bellamy or Bellamy. I don't see you as just Bill. Uh, give me some. You I can, like that. I mean, there are I'm a lot keep of, that, baby. Thank you. There are a lot of famous Bills out there. Bill Clinton, for Bill example. Bill Clinton. Who's, it was just his birthday earlier this week. Big Bill? Yeah. Oh, man. Happy birthday. Uh, Mr. Clinton. Mr. And then, Clinton. And then there's another Bill in comedy who doesn't do your name justice anymore. Ah, so, yes. Which, is Cosby, which we touched upon a little yeah. bit. But I want your take. I know some of the viewers were asking earlier about your take on different news stories. I figure... Mm. I should just start with this Bill Cosby one well, because the thing with, with Bill Cosby because the comedian put this whole story on the map. I know, Burris, kind of, sort know? of. But the thing about it is, it's just like to me, it's a really, really uh, unfortunate situation on so many levels, right? Mm -hmm. For the ladies that uh, right. have experienced something that was not not good at all, and then for him too, as as an icon, as a person who's done so many good things too. Right. I mean, let's. He's done a lot of good stuff too. And I just feel bad for his legacy because I, it just feels like, you know, it's going to just totally wipe it out, kind of like, you know, sidetrack all the good, all the people he put through school, all the money he's donated and all the right. good things, you know. It's like people forget about anything good when something bad happens. So I just feel sorry for him in that respect and to his family because, he, you know, he's definitely done a lot of good stuff and wanted to do good stuff, you could tell. And now he's so old, I don't know if he knows what's going on. I think he knows. You think he knows? I'm pretty sure he's Because he seems so old, like, now he don't seem... You know when you get that age where you can't remember, like, huh? 
What? <laughs> Who said what? <laughs> you know, I hope he's all right. I'm sure he's doing fine. I mean, I know up until uh, all these uh, court documents came out, he was still touring and he was just ignoring it all. Yeah. I mean, maybe there was a heckler in the crowd or two, but that's but every he, show. Yeah, whether you that's, yeah. Somebody wants to be a part him. of the show, but now I think it's a little tough for him to go out and on the road because it's just too many things coming up. And, you know, as comedians, we want to be able to perform for our fans and like exchange love and laughter just like musicians do right because you get that live feedback yeah, right away versus like, acting on tv yeah you like know? you know there's nothing more fun for me than doing stand-up because it's in real time mm -hmm. like i'm doing this movie it won't be out till next year right right I'll be, You're probably not I'll be doing what something you else. Are. I don't even remember, right? But like with comedy, it's right now, it's tonight. You know, I can say funny stuff and you, I could talk up to the guy that's there with his wife or the, the two girls over there that's hanging out. So it's it's fun. It's mm -hmm. so, so high energy and so interactive. So that's why I love it. Well, this is kind of interactive. It's like and TV this too. and it's interactive TV. Rachel has a question. I already know the answer, but I'll ask it anyways. Oh, Bill, okay. are you single? LOL. No. Sorry, Rachel. <laughs> She's like, ding, <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Eduardo, Bill, you missed your 118 degree we weather. Super saying SK is the luckiest person alive. First Lonnie Love, now Bill Bellamy. We had Lonnie here a few weeks ago. Oh, Lonnie Love. Yeah, yeah I love Lonnie. That's like my little sister. I love her. Yeah, she was She fun. is so nice. She was fun. And we had some people in between, but I was off work those days. Um, I wish I could ask a question. <laughs> um, I can still remember how to be a player. Yeah. How, how do you be a player? Uh, first of all, you got to have skills. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have to have charisma, which you already have. I could tell you a player too. So former, anyway, former, former. Oh, former. You you shut it down. Well, you know, as you get older, you have to become a little more right. responsible. You don't want to keep breaking hearts. Yeah, and I could tell you broke a lot of hearts. It's like, no, I don't like you like that. Well, so, what happens <laughs> is you break hearts till your heart heart gets broken, and then you're like, oh, I can't do that anymore. I can't do that. We are, yeah, once you feel it, yeah, right? You're just yeah. Like, oh God, this is karma. This that is true, but um, I think how to be a player. It, in this day and age, to me, what is really hard because, you know, look at the Ashley Madison thing. Look at You're like right. you know, you know, people hacking into your accounts and you know, pictures going somewhere or the cloud shuts down. And, <laughs> I mean, it's just like. Well, but I think it's easier to be a player nowadays because it's like you could have multiple phones. There's no such thing as a landline, right? That's true. You know, you can call, you could have like six different phones for six different girls. You could have. You know, Snapchat, things disappear. People Supposedly. could be sending DMs. I know, but there's a way to get around it. I feel like social media she and the internet still has, has made player skills. Or no, there's a way I'm just jaded to get I trust around nobody. it. You trust nobody. I tr I'm like, let, let me see, see your all phones. your phones. <laughs> put them on the table. Put your. That's how you start your relationship. Now put your, all your phones on the table. You put up your phones. I put up mine. Social media passwords now. Now. <laughs> Let exactly, me look. Who exactly. are you following on Who Instagram? Who do you follow? Now, I got a question for What's you. That? I got a question for the viewers. If you like a picture, what does that mean? It means you love them. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. Okay, I am not going to lie. You I have, said you love them. I have scrolled through the likes that people I'm involved with receive. Mm hmm because I'm crazy. Because <laughs> you're crazy. You're a stalker. Because, okay, no, good. it's not even that. It's because you, there's some people that will comment on every picture or like yeah, it Yeah, I have those kind of fans. Like, they like everything I post. But you're, but you're in the public spotlight. Okay. If someone, one of our viewers is just dating a regular person mm -hmm. and they see the same girl or the same guy commenting on their significant other's photos all the time. People are going to like you. I just want to know if I like this picture, is that grounds for an argument? From your spouse? Yes. Um, I think it depends on whose photo it is you're liking. Are you liking a girl that's, that's in... super hot? Well, she can be super hot, well, but can she be medium does, she hot? Have her, does she have her clothes on or is Well, she you got to have clothes on. It's Instagram. No, I'm saying like fully clothed or half naked because there are a lot of half naked girls on Instagram. Yeah, that's true. So if you like those photos, you know what I'm talking about. The mirror selfies, the... Uh, the one in the bathroom, the one in the bathroom with the towel rack right there, that one? Yeah, you know, yeah. with your body position in such a way that certain <laughs> assets you have stick really out. Really you know, accentuate? It, 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 accentuate, yeah. Those are the photos that you don't like. You don't, don't like them. Because but there's what something if you called like the about, following page. What's that? 
okay, the Instagram following page. Mm -hmm. So the people you follow, you can see right here, mm -hmm. you can see all the people you follow in which photos they've liked. I don't know if you know about this. Yes, I do. But you can see that. So as a result, if you see, if I see that my significant other just like some really hot chick's photo. You immediately go into her page you're and you're like, going to delete her account. I can tell. But you're instead, very jealous. why do you like that picture? Because it's, it's Especially she's Especially if you don't know the person. She's hot. She's just cute. She's a great smile in a nice bathroom. She took a picture. <laughs> so you're liking it for the ba the rack. So you're like, oh, for, for the, the towel, towel rack. rack. In oh, the that's back. a great towel rack. Where can I buy those towels? Oh, is that, that at That shower curtain is so nice. Bed, bath, and beyond. <laughs> okay. Can All I right. try that excuse and let me know how no, it goes? No, it's not going to work. Okay. okay, I got it. I get it. All right, let's go through. Um... Rachel, all I see is Skeeter now with the hearts in her eyes. Oh, my inner kid is jumping up and down. Now. Oh, see, a lot of people like Cousin Skeeter. Yeah, I see Eleven's way back. I saw him at Deaf Comedy Jam, downtown Phoenix, third row, white and scared out of my mind. He was going to call me out. Oh, for real? <laughs> oh, no, I'm that's, glad I didn't do that, but I hope you had a good time. That's amazing. Yes. I keep... Uh, you got a lot of people there, huh? Yeah, different people. Uh, Bill, you're one sexy comedian. Well, Josh. thank you. There thank you. you. Go. Show me some swag. Who said that? They want some swag oh. right there, Joss. And she's saying that you have uh, so much swag. Oh. So one of the other, so we talked about uh, the Bill Cosby situation. You just brought up Ashley Madison. Yeah, this that's the big hack, thing. Okay, so it's like 36 million users. 36 info million. Yeah. 36 was, million users got hacked like into. Like four million of them were women. <laughs> The rest for men. We were breaking it down. We of had charts course, yesterday on the show. Of course, we, the guys are going to win that. And it's just like, and it's funny because Four now, million women and, and the rest was 32 million men. <laughs> 31 million men, I think, that were looking for women. <laughs> and then there was a certain group of like men looking for men and women looking for women. But mostly it was oh. looking for the opposite sex. But it's like... It's crazy. You know... People are using their real email addresses. People are using their work email addresses. We have uh, so many people with like White House email addresses, apparently. Really? Yeah, there's so many articles out there now of like people working in the U.S. government. At the White House? And people, people in our um, morning meeting are like, well, why do you use your work email? And I was like, look, guys, if your wife has access to your Gmail password, of course you're going to use your work email. Think about it. Yeah. And then they're like, how do you know this, Tommy? I'm like, because, because I'm insane. you <laughs> are insane. I am so scared of you right now. You know everything. You can break codes. You're you're following your man on Instagram. <laughs> you're following your man on Snapchat. You probably even follow. But you follow, can't even. Snapchat. You follow on Dub Snap. <laughs> <laughs> no, with Snapchat though, you could never tell what your other person is sending. Yeah or no? Yeah, that's true. It's only with Instagram that you have the following page. Okay, now I'm just coming off as crazy. Let's focus this story yeah, on you're you. You're coming off crazy. Yes. And the viewers. Apple Snapple wants we'll to know. You. Bill Bellamy, have you been on Periscope? Twitter's no, live streaming app. but people people keep asking me about uh, Periscope, sh and I don't know um, if I'm going to do it. But you know, a lot of the comedians are are yeah. doing it because you're being funny. It's so fun. It, it's it's live streaming and stuff, yeah. right? Yeah, it's so. Fun. I don't know. I mean, I might I might try it out. I just haven't do done it as as of yet. I wish I knew that I would have periscoped earlier. So, oh, so I you periscope, but then I can't see it because I'm not on there. I periscope all the time. So why do you you do it? Do you do your show? I don't really periscope up here because I'm focused on these viewers, but I'll periscope either before the show. I periscope a lot during my lunch breaks. Oh, that's cool. Um, I got banned from Periscope for a day because I was periscoping during the Taylor Swift concert a few days ago. Yeah. Oh, they shut you down. They did. I was on. I it was, hurt. I could tell. I could, looking at your face. It, it hurt a little really bit. Really hard. When they me. shut you down. It was so hard. It was the hardest 24 to 36 hours of my life. <laughs> or up there. <laughs> Because you can't stream music content? I guess. They were saying that it infringed their copyright, uh, you know, it was copyright infringement, but I went through their rules and, you know, regulations, and there was no mention of no streaming concerts. Wow. But it's fine. You're back? I yeah, I'm back now, but I wasn't streaming the whole thing. I was just picking select Taylor songs, whatever. Ooh. It's fine. Got in trouble. Here, people are chiming in on the uh, Instagram topic. If your man keeps liking pics of uh, attractive women, then yes, that's grounds for an argument. Sorry, Bill. Bina, chiming in. She's out in the UK. Oh, I know. I just want to know. Now, what if the girl isn't that attractive? Does it matter? Or is it just, does it not matter? I don't no. Know. Okay. I don't think it matters. 
Because you never know. Because you know what I've seen a lot of times? Mm -hmm. Even in like in the entertainment realm, they will cheat on their hot sick and significant other with some girl that's like, mm, a five. Me like mediocre. Yeah, right, right, like right. A That's five. not good. That's against code. You don't do that. But I've seen it happen a lot. I know you have. It's like, mm, uh, cool. What about, let's see what else they have. Mich M Michelle Donnity wants to know what your favorite movie or TV show you've appeared in. Favorite role. My favorite role on TV was uh, Fast Lane, my TV show. So back in Fox, yeah, when you were with yeah. Tiffany Yeah, that was fun. And I got to be a you know, New York detective. That was hot. That's awesome. I had a fun role on Castle, too. Castle was fun. I was on Castle. What was the hardest gig you've had to do? Hardest gig? In terms of acting, performing. I think uh, Any Given Sunday was hard because I, I had to do so many physical things. You know, I had to play football for real. I was out there running around in well, that heat. you're not heat. a football player. And I am, but, you know, you could tell. Boom! <laughs> got the skills but it was just hard it was like uh those the acting part wasn't so hard it was just like dramatic it was ex extensive extensive workouts right you know like running 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 catch the ball but i'm run, sure you run. got into good shape yeah though. it was, it was nice. like you yeah. were forced to probably I was forced eat healthy to be, i was forced to be an, a stud <laughs> a stud Okay, I see Eduardo. I've seen you post this question multiple times. I will ask it. Bill, your go-to cologne for a daily basis. Do you enjoy a different cologne with different weather conditions? Sometimes. No, I think um, for me, my cologne is based on how I feel. So I have all kinds of different colognes, right? And it's just the mood I'm in, you know what I'm saying? If, it's, if I feel like fun and light, I'll have something like that on. Or if I feel like it's nighttime and I'm getting dressed up, I'm gonna throw on some some swag, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna turn up, you know what I mean? I'm gonna turn up, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I know what you're like. Mean. Like right now, I feel like I'm 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 daytime, you know? I got on something light and it smells good, but it's light and fun. Smell that? It's pretty good. See, yeah. told you, it's daytime. Yeah, and it's very light. You have to really like yeah, get you gotta... very close to, you know. Ah! <laughs> Leo, Leo, damn Bill, you got guns, man. Thank you, thank you. That's uh, CrossFit right there. That is amazing. Starbucks for build. I saw someone <laughs> ask something about that. What's that? Something. So Starbucks for oh. Oh, they want to ask what roast of coffee you prefer. You were just drinking coffee. Yeah, right? I you had. had a, I don't. I don't drink it like that. I don't go. But if I had to pick one, it'd be dark roast because I'm a dark roast. Joni has an interesting question. Is Bill Bellamy your real name? Yes. People have, have asked me that. Because that. it does, but like I said, it sounds really good as a, just yeah. a name. That Bill Bellamy? Close. Are you Bill Bellamy? Are you Bill Bellamy? Are you really the Bill Bellamy? Yes, I'm the real Bill Bellamy. So growing up, because I, when I think of the name Bill, I don't, when you're a kid, I don't ever know kids that are called Bill. Were right. you Billy? Yes. Or is Bill short for William? Like Will, I need to Bill, know. Bill is short for William. When I was a kid, up until about 14, 15, I was Billy. My sister still calls me Billy. Aww. Yeah. She's like, Billy. And, and then what? At six, 16, you became Bill? Did not, did not. Yeah, that's when I turned up. You know, <laughs> I like, was like. I can drive. I'm an adult. I, can, I'm, I got my driver's permit. I am Bill. And okay. then when I got an entertainment game, I, I thought William seemed too formal. Mm. And I liked Bill. Cause that, well, just Bill easy. Bellamy, the. the um, alliteration of it all it just the it just two goes back bill bellamy to, yeah william bellamy i mean you would have to be a dramatic actor if you're william bellamy yeah, right bill bellamy is fun like bill bellamy that's bill bellamy yeah it's william easy. bellamy you are a serious william. exactly william you bellamy. are doing shows in the uk <laughs> you're doing plays you're i'm like doing a, proper <laughs> i'm doing proper plays exactly proper uh really like michelle's question um and it's you know it might start some trouble but most and least favorite celebrity you've worked with be real Honestly, I don't have any, um, was cool. Like, I, I would have talked about my best or my biggest was Michael Jackson. Oh, my gosh. How was that? Yeah, that was dope. Like, I interviewed Michael Jackson. I thought that was just like, <gasps> I was like, Michael's sitting here. I'm sitting here. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm assuming that was when you were at MTV. Yeah, and uh, it was so cool. Like, this is a thing that I thought was going to happen because I'm a fan, right? Right. So I wrote... Yeah. I asked a bunch of my friends. I knew I was interviewing Michael on Friday. So I like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm asking my friends. I'm doing my research on Michael Jackson. I'm going to ask real good questions. And then I get there and, and his PR people will go, nope, 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 these three. I was like. What were the three that you got to I ask? I don't know. I don't remember. But it wasn't like 
I could ask him anything. He had a team, like a team. That was that was like. Burn. I mean, that's Michael Jackson. That's right. Like I thought you could just ask him, like when you did, you know, off the wall. What was that? Like I, I had all those. Kind but of he's questions. probably so protect or was so protected. Yeah, I mean, when you're at yeah, that level yeah. of yeah. fame, it's it's crazy. Uh, Joni asking this question: Do you have kids, Bill? Yes, I have two beautiful kids. There's your answer. You talked about them briefly on yeah. the morning show. I was listening. Oh, my in. little babies. They're really big. They are <laughs> nine. They are nine and twelve. Yeah, they're not little, but they're my my. Boo-boo. They're always little. They're my little boo boos. My mom treats me like I'm ten. Yeah, so. that's love, though. Your mama love you. You that's know that true. she loves you. Eduardo, Bill, would you ever consider living in Arizona? <laughs> it's too hot. It's too hot. <laughs> May I mean? I'm assuming you live in LA. Yes, it's hot. LA is like if you had to consider it like an oven, right? If with heat. I want to say LA for the most is 275, right? Okay. That's warm. It's nice. You can't bake cookies with that, though. But you can't bake cookies with that. You know what you could do in Arizona? That's 450. You can burn up everything. Burn up the steak. Burn up the fish. Burn up the chicken. It's too hot. I think oh, wait, I like when we had hit like 117 last week, I heard that people, uh, you know, a lot of news stations will do the crack an egg open on the sidewalk and see if it cooks. It, it did. I don't know. I, I've, oh, heard, I've heard the oh, rumor that you could do that. Yeah, yeah. And if you spill Coca-Cola on a car at that heat, it would peel the paint off. Really? Yeah. The, yeah. The acid and the heat. That seems like a it's terrible a little, thing to do. Like you could go to a parking lot if you really wanted to be a bad person and, and vandalize. S- s- car just be, I'm melting. <laughs> Good thing you weren't here last. It was last weekend, wasn't it? It was. It was literally if you had booked... The weekend before, that's when we had record-setting temperatures. I, I, I purposely scheduled my tour around that. You all, 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 I, all, I, all, I, all I want is 105. That's it. Top out. Oh, my God. I feel like there's an argument between Canada and the United States going on right now. One of our viewers, Joss, is uh, Canadian. Mm. And uh, Eduardo's arguing, saying the only good thing in Canada is bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, oh my God. God. She wanted to know if you would ever been in Canada. Maybe she missed the part where you mentioned you're shooting in Canada right now. Yeah, in Vancouver. Uh, Canada is really, really, really beautiful, by the way. Uh, I'm shooting the film in Vancouver, but I've been to Montreal and Toronto. And uh, each each place has its own unique personality. And uh, But I'm really enjoying Vancouver. The weather's great this time of year. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's a cool little city, small, it's really, really clean. I'm having a good time. That sounds fun. I was up there uh, during the Olympics back in 2010. Right. So, it was just but, like but it was packed. cold though, right? It was cold. So, yeah. It was way too cold. I've never been there in the summertime, so I'm really having a good time. Um, it's so green, and there's a lot of beautiful parks, and uh, you know you can get to the beach. It's and gorgeous. Canadians are nice. And Canadians are nice, eh? Nice. Right? Yeah. Eh? 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 Tim Hortons, eh? Eh? <laughs> Have you picked up some Tim Hortons yet? <laughs> yes. God, uh, that's like their Starbucks, right? I love. I know it's, Tim it's the highlight of Canada. Okay, so I want to get back to a few more headlines. Just some of the things that are making okay. news this week over the course of the month. I know someone in the chat room like an hour ago had thrown in this question, wanting to know your take on Donald. Donald Trump. I think it's amazing. And his whole run for president. I love it. It's entertaining. It's different, you know. I mean, he's at a, at an age in his life where he'll say anything. It doesn't and care. it doesn't even matter. That's what I love about it. He just they will say, Don, say this, this, and this. And he's like, you know what? Can we just talk? And he just I think that's why he's getting why he's leading the polls? Yeah, because it feels really honest in some way, even though it might not be politically correct or whatever, but it is definitely fun to watch. Let's be honest. You're like, did he just say what? <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Every day. It's, but you know what? He's like Actually, Archie Bunker or something. No, but I read this photo that was uh, fairly, and I know we have to wrap up in a minute or two, but I, I read this headline yesterday that was kind of... I mean, shocking. It was about uh, these two guys in Boston who beat up this Hispanic homeless man and urinated on him and and said they were inspired by Donald Trump and that they wanted to make America great again. This isn't like in Boston. This just came out in like the last day or two. I don't think Donald Trump ever said something to do that. He didn't say to do that, but I guess that was their logic. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's ridiculous. Nobody should do that. That's ridiculous. 
Oh my gosh. It's ridiculous. That is a uh, pretty crazy. Apple Snapple is asking a very serious question. I don't know if we want to get into this, but uh, coming from a parent, what do you feel about the Slender Man case where two girls stabbed another 12 year old girl? Do you think they should get life without parole? Whoa, that's getting serious. <laughs> First of all, I didn't hear about it, and that is way too serious for morning time. I know. Let's let, wow. let's lighten things up. Let's 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 like let's end on a positive note. You are doing the Tempe Improv tonight. Yes. Through Sunday. Yes, through Sunday. Um, it's going to be a great time. Tonight is at 7.30 and 10. Hopefully you can make a show. You can bring your friend, your significant other. It's mm -hmm. fine. It's all good. Couples, singles, everybody. We just want to show everybody a really great time. An hour and a half of nonstop laughter. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out. Maybe well, I'll make my you. way to the Tempe Improv. You better come over. Yeah! I mean, I guess I have to now. Bill Bellamy, everyone, you guys can follow him on Instagram, on Twitter, everything. At Bill Bellamy. At Bill Bellamy, the most perfect name in entertainment. Yes! Just don't call him Bill. Bill Bellamy. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the 10-day forecast while we get our next.